Mariupol takes its last stand. We might have only a few days or even hours left. The southern port city is besieged as Russian forces move forward. While thousands of residents seek shelter, the Ukrainian army is pleading for help as they continue to resist Russian attacks. The enemy's units are 10 times larger than ours. We appeal to the world leaders to help us. The mayor of Mariupol asked residents to evacuate the city Wednesday. In the meantime, a route is being set up near a steel factory where thousands of civilians and Ukrainian soldiers are believed to be taking shelter. A Ukrainian military commander says strikes by Russian aviation and heavy artillery are continuing. The Mariupol military garrison has over 500 wounded soldiers and hundreds of civilians, among whom there are children and women. While it's still early in Russia's shift toward an offensive in the Donbas region, two senior U.S. officials say there has been no major territorial gains for Russia so far. Still, pressure is mounting on the U.S. and NATO to provide additional military assistance and help with evacuations. The Ukrainians have been trying for a number of days uh, to negotiate a safe passage for civilians and for wounded fighters. There will be uh, NATO allies involved in that, is my understanding. I'm Gloria Pasmino reporting. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.